，新增确诊病例十四例，其中十二例为本土病例，分别为吉林十一例、湖北一例，两例为境外输入上海病例，无新增死亡病例，新增疑似病例一例。为境外输入内蒙古病例，当日新增治愈出院病例七十四例，解除医学观察的密切接触者四百二十七人，重症病例减少两例。境外输入情况，现有确诊病例一百一十五例，其中重症病例三例。现有疑似病例四例，累计确诊病例一千六百八十三例，累计治愈出院病例一千五百六十八例，无死亡病例。截至五月九日二十四时，据各省区市和新疆生产建设兵团报告，现有确诊病例。一百四十八例，其中重症病例十三例，累计治愈出院病例七万八千一百二十例，累计死亡病例四千六百三十三例，累计报告确诊病例八万两千九百零一例，现有疑似病例四例。累计追踪到密切接触者七十三万六千七百八十七人，尚在医学观察的密切接触者五千八百四十人，新增无症状感染者二十例，其中境外输入一例，当日转为确诊病例一例，当日解除医学观察。六十一例，其中来自境外输入十六例，尚在医学观察无症状感染者七百九十四例，其中境外输入四十八例，累计收到港澳台地区通报确诊病例一千五百二十九例，其中香港特别行政区一千零四十四例。澳门特别行政区四十五例，台湾地区四百四十例。五月九日 ，four hundred and forty from the Taiwan region。五月九日 ，yesterday， 本土再次发生聚集性疫情。Domestically in China, there was another cluster case, and the newly increased indigenous confirmed the cases. Was 12, the highest since March the 11th. This means that we should keep alert and uh, do a good job with uh, personal protection, and we should avoid gathering. If there's any symptom like uh, fever, cough, and fatigue, we should go to the designated hospital for screening to avoid the spread of the epidemic. That's all for the update. Now we will have the Q&A. Please focus on today's topic and put forward your questions. Please first identify yourself. Okay. The floor is open. The first question on the left, the front row, the journalist in the middle, please. Thank you. With CETV, we know that NHC recently released the uh, prevention and control guideline to prevent myopia. It is emphasized to increase the outdoor activities. However, parents are also concerned that outdoor activities may increase the risk of uh, epidemic infection. Uh, what are the roles of uh, outside uh, outdoor activities to prevent myopia? Um, we will have uh, Madam Wang to take the question. Thank you for your questions. Indeed, appropriate outdoor activities can improve the kids' health and also can play a critical role in preventing myopia. 
The outdoor activities can prevent the appearance of myopia, and for kids who've already had myopia, such outdoor activities can help them to prevent or to control the further progression or worsening of myopia. Just as you mentioned not long ago, NHC worked out a guideline to prevent and to control myopia. It is specifically emphasized that outdoor activities should be had and in open spaces such outdoor activities should be increased to prevent myopia. In the context of the epidemic control, Outdoor activities do not run counter to the epidemic infection, uh, and uh, we should do the following things. First, when having the outdoor activities, try to avoid crowding, and if it is necessary to communicate with other kids or other people, masks should be worn. And secondly, when having the outdoor activities, especially for the youngs, um, they should be cared by their parents. And also, parents should pay attention to the hygiene of the kids, especially the hand hygiene. During the outdoor activities, kids should be constantly reminded that their hands should not touch uh, their eyes, their noses, their mouths, and etc. And also, uh, there should be no sputing on the ground and uh, pay attention to the cough etiquette. And fourthly, while having the outdoor activities and uh, after they return from the outdoor activities, they should uh, take off their overcoat and uh, wash their hands. And it is really helpful to have outdoor activities. Okay, let's continue. On the right, on the front row, um, the reporter in blue in the middle, please. With CCTV, now in the country there are still many kids who are having the online studies. So what are the electronic products to be chosen to protect the eyesight? And also um, there are some so-called blue uh, light preventing spectacles sold on the market. Are they really helpful? Uh, we will have uh, Professor Wei to take a question. Thank you for your question. I think this is a question of common concern. The use of uh, video products should follow the principle that the bigger the better. That's why uh, try to have the bigger screen. When you use the electronic magnetic products, uh, we should emphasize the 20-20-20 principle. That is, after watching the screen for 20 minutes, uh, the kids should raise their hand and uh, look at objects 20 feet away. And also the scale as well as the distance of the screens may also cause the fatigue of the eyes and uh, um, the resolution uh, does not affect the sight. I suggest that uh, the height of uh, the center of eyes should be a little bit higher than the center of the screen. The distance uh, should be six times to the diagonal of uh, the screen. CRT screen refreshes um, 75 hertz. And for the liquid crystal screen, it doesn't. It isn't necessary to adjust the refreshing rates, and also the ambient light should also be healthy. If you use it at night, you can use a, a darker screen and put the color in green. You can also turn on the ambient light. 
There has been some uh, rumor monger on the use on the protection of uh, the blue ray. There isn't uh, a positive correlation of the blue light and uh, the myopia because uh, blue lights include the long wave ones and the short wave ones. Only the short wave uh, blue lights will exert harm on the eyes. However, you have to be under the blue light for a much prolonged time. For the qualified electronic products, they have already been through the tests. So if we use the electronic devices manufactured by qualified manufacturers, it uh, is not necessary to put up uh, another screen to guard off uh, the blue lights. Next question, please. Thank you. With the Hong Kong Economic Herald, many students have uh, to use the video learning, and they have to sit in front of uh, the tables. Many parents are taking the opportunity to change the desks and the chairs. What kind of uh, the desks and tables are recommended for the schools that have been reopened? What should be the measures adopted by schools to reduce the risk? of uh, myopia. I'd like to ask uh, Madam Guoxin to take the question. Thank you for your question. We'd also like to thank journalists concerned on the health of children. I'd like to answer the first question first. What kind of uh, desk and chair are most suitable for the protection of uh, eye health? We recommend the desks and the chairs that are suitable and commensurate with the height of uh, the children. Inappropriate selection may lead to myopia and also unhealthy spine. In families, we recommend the proper desks for learning and should not replace it with uh, the dining table. We know that the tiny table is usually too high for children. And if you use the bed and sit the bed, let the children sit on the beds. Usually the beds are very soft, which is harmful to the spine health of uh, the children. There are also height adjustable desks and uh, table uh, and chairs. Families can use uh, the recommended table to find the appropriate height of the desk and make an adjustment. Another feasible way is that uh, you can let the child sit on the desk with uh, the upper and the lower legs in um, the vertical angle, and also there should be four to five centimeters between the book and the, the eyes. For the families where there are no adjust height adjustable tables, desks, or chairs, then we can make a further adjustment. If uh, the desk is too high for the child, then you can use uh, a higher desk and then put a cushion under the feet of the children so that the children can put feet on the cushion so as to ensure the 90 degree angle between the upper and lower legs. If uh, the desk is too low, then we can put some cushions under the de legs of the desk to make it higher. The second question you've asked is about uh, the lighting selection in schools. First, at the beginning of the construction of a school, the design of the lighting should be following the criteria. Schools should maintain the light. It is not once and for all selection. The windows and the light tubes must be regularly cleaned. The walls of uh, the classrooms must be kept uh, clean. On a monthly basis, the lightware must uh, be cleaned. How can we ensure the maintenance coefficient of the lightware be at uh, 0 0.8? I'd like to explain it a little better. After the new installment of the lightware, 
The lighting is up to standard. However, after some while, it may be substandard. And if we want to ensure it is always consistent to the standard, we have to clean the light tubes on a monthly basis. If uh, the lighting equipment are installed on one side of uh, the classroom ceiling, then it should be adjusted uh, leaning towards the left. When the natural lighting is not up to the criteria, then we have to use artificial lighting to supplement. In classrooms, the tubes should be of uh, long axles and uh, should be in vertical with uh, the blackboards. We should not use the bare light bulbs. There must be covers. In, for example, the lights in this uh, room have the covers. When we say the uh, bare light, it means there is no light cover. And also, the light should be no higher than 1.7 meters to the floor. We also like to remind another point. The first row distance to the blackboard should be further than 2.2 meters. The last row in the classroom desk distance to the blackboard should be less than 8 meters for primary schools and less than 9 meters for the uh, secondary schools. And uh, they sit like, uh, if they sit like me, then the distance uh, between my two elbows is uh, 0 0.7 meter. If uh, we want to ensure a proper reading gesture, then the distance uh, between two vertical lines uh, should be bigger than 6 meters. And uh, the desk perimeter to the wall should have a distance of uh, bigger than 0 0.5 meters rather than standing against uh, the wall directly. During the COVID-19 response, we should expand the distance among desks. However, the previously mentioned criteria should also be followed. The last point I want to put forward is that uh, on a semester basis, we have to adjust uh, the individual desk height for individual students so that each desk suits the height of uh, the student. Next question goes to the journalist on the third row on the left side. Thank you. With uh, the CCTV new media, media has it that uh, in schools uh, there has been some uh, eye exercises. Are these uh, Eye exercises effective uh, in overseas countries. They use the atopian to for droplets for the children. Can this uh, be rolled across uh, Chinese students? Eyes are like uh, caramel. If uh, we want to have a uh, very clear pictures, then we have uh, to have a clear focus. And uh, such an adjustment depends on the hilarious uh, movements. The axle length can be adjusted if uh, it expands, then people, children can see uh, in distance. But uh, if uh, there has been over stretching, then there might be myopia. If we let the children to have more outdoor activities, then the I access can be relaxed. During the COVID-19 response, there has been different eye exercises recommended. However, such exercises are just for muscles outside the uh, eyes, and they may be helpful to kids with uh, some muscle malfunctioning for kids. However, they are not helpful to the ordinary children, and we still need to stick to the 2020 principle to prevent myopia 
as this can help relax the eye muscles and ease the fatigue. At the moment, in China, we don't have any specific drug that can control the progression of myopia. Recent years, it was found that the low um, concentration atropine eye drop may slow down the progression of myopia. However, this is not the panacea as for some kids, the use of uh, such atropine eye drop may also have side effects. And also for some other kids, the use of uh, atropine eye drop fails to control the progression of myopia. So it is not advisable to rely on the eye drops to control the progression of myopia. Instead, the hygiene with uh, eye care and uh, the outdoor activities are suggested for the prevention and the progression of uh, myopia. Also, the kids should be visiting the ophthalmologists for further interventions. Okay, let's continue on the right, on the third row, the gentleman in the middle, please. With people daily, for kids and uh, juveniles, as the incidences of uh, myopia were quite high, then when school restarts, how to keep health of the eye, and uh, uh, we will have uh, Madam Wang to take the question. The COVID-19 epidemic is becoming a normal activity, and more and more schools are planning to reopen the campuses. In some provinces, the school has already restarted. I think for kids, when they go back to the campus, they still need to ensure every day there are more than two hours of outdoor activities. For kids who have already had myopia, they should have uh, even longer time to have outdoor activities. When the school restarts the uh, sports, the PE class and uh, the breaks should give the kids or the students the chances to have outdoor activities. And also there should be more arrangement made to give them more time for outdoor activities. Also after school, at least uh, the outdoor activities should be enforced and guaranteed before they go back home and uh, do their homework. So we need to expose them to more outdoor lights and activities. After this uh, very special long holiday break, I guess some kids are suffering from myopia. So for schools who have uh, the conditions available to restart the campus, we strongly suggest them to do something to improve the eyesight. Also, we encourage the parents to bring their kids to go to the ophthalmologists for uh, eyesight screening and uh, adopt interventions appropriately. If the school wants to conduct the eyesight improvement and uh, check the eyesight of the students, then they should conduct the eyesight screening in a sound environment with a good ventilation and also uh, the use of uh, the relevant devices should be kept clean and uh, uh, disinfected. And also the kids should be reminded that their hands should be kept from touching their eyes. Also such eye screening or eye side checks should be conducted in an orderly way and there should be uh, one meter social distance kept 
during the eyesight uh, screening or check. Um, the principle is to avoid crowding and uh, do a good job with uh, personal protection to ensure the smooth uh, activities like uh, the eyesight check. Now we will have the next question. Thank you. Uh, with uh, China Youth Daily, during the COVID-19 epidemic, the outdoor activities were reduced and uh, the indoor reading activities increased. So for preschool children, as well as for adults, if they unfortunately had developed myopia, how can they uh, control the progression and uh, even uh, improve their eyesight despite the myopia. Uh, we will have Professor Wei to take the question. Thank you for your questions. For preschool children, they should try to minimize the use of uh, the electronic screens. Um, the 15 minutes watching of the uh, cartoons should be the maximum. For preschool children, there should be very strict control of the use of uh, electronic screens, and they should have uh, adequate outdoor activities. They should uh, take in nutritious food and uh, fruits. And also, they should have uh, appropriate sports and uh, games for adults. During the epidemic, they have to work long hours, and uh, this may cause the dry eye symptom. And uh, this uh, uh, zero thalmia may cause uh, discomfort with the eyes. Uh, so uh, the adults can get the instruction from the ophthalmologists and use some eye drops to treat the zero thalmia. And also they can blink their eyes or relax their uh, eye muscles or grow uh, some green plants on their office desk and also ensure the adequate sleeping time. Uh, for adults, their myopia may also be worsened. For some patients, the degree of myopia may be intensified and uh, this may cause some uh, problem. The serious one could be blindness and also for uh, people in the middle age or the elderly, uh, they may also have uh, cataracts uh, developed along with uh, the myopia. So for adult, it is also necessary to go to visit the ophthalmologist and uh, take appropriate treatment or intervention. Thank you. Okay. On the right, on the second row, the lady reporter, please. Thank you. With China Family News, the teenagers and uh, the young prevention and control guideline against uh, myopia mentioned the uh, use of uh, lighting devices at home. How can we ensure that the lighting devices we use at home are appropriate? We will have uh, uh, Madam Guo to take your question. Uh, thank you for your question. It is indeed a very important question. In the guideline, it is mentioned that in the uh, home lighting, there are specific technical indicators to be followed, and uh, the devices uh, should be up to certain lighting standards. As uh, for and for those who do not have uh, the monitor or the device to check the color temperature, then we can use uh, the comparison pictures or the ones that we often see with seven rainbow colors. The light color 
can be checked against this light color pictoria. If the light temperature is high, then it may sting the eyes. And if the light temperature is very low, then it will make people feel really sleepy. So if you find a little bit yellowish, a light, then it means the light temperature is low. The 4000 K light temperature will ensure that people will not feel sleepy, while they will not feel cold. As we've mentioned, the light temperature, if it is low, then it is a little bit yellowish and reddish. The light of a candle is around 2000 K in terms of the light temperature. And when hour after the sunrise, the light temperature is around 4000 K. It is a great temperature for people if they want to study. So we suggest that the lamps used by students should be around 4000 K. On the markets, there are some lamps with the light temperature higher than 4000 K, which may lead to retinopathy. It is also a risky factor for causing myopia. If uh, it is used uh, in night, then it can inhibit uh, the secretion of uh, the melatonin, which can interrupt and uh, in interrupt uh, the sleep pattern of uh, children. That's why we recommend uh, the lab temperature of uh, lamps for below 4000 K. So we suggest a parent to check the light temperature of uh, the lamps. If uh, they are not up to the 4000K standard, we recommend immediate replacement. If uh, the ceiling light uh, in the rooms of the children is not a tricolor light source, we also re recommend an immediate uh, replacement. Thank you. Next question, please. Journalist from the fourth row on the left side, please. Thank you. With the uh, Shenzhen news, during the pandemic response, the online video learning has become a major way of learning among children. What should measures adopted by the schools to urge children to pay attention to their health of eyes? And how can we ensure that the parents have got enough notices and reminders to pay attention to the myopia among children? I'd like to ask Madam Wang Bing to take the question. Yes, indeed. As the journalist has rightly pointed out, schools is, uh, carry the major responsibility of uh, protecting myopia among children. The healthy eye knowledge is the best teaching to children. Schools should shoulder the responsibility. I think we recommend schools to implement their responsibility in the following aspects. First, health education should be provided to children so that children will understand they have the ownership of protecting their eyes. Only when children understand fully that they should take ownership of their eye health. Can we ensure all these measures are implemented by children? In this process, children can learn the proper length of uh, electronic uh, products usage, the importance of uh, proper gestures, the protection of uh, the hand and eye hygiene. Second, Students spend a majority of time of their days in schools, so schools should provide appropriate lighting environment for the children, proper and timely adjustment of the heights of desks and the chairs, guide students to be engaged in some eye exercises. And during the COVID-19 response, we can put forward some other ways of eye exercises by squinting and rolling the eyes without the hands touching the eyes directly. The 30 minutes and even longer breaks among different classes and two hour outside door activities should also be recommended and ensured. Schools should cooperate with the families just like the two of 
ophthalmologies uh, experts have uh, shared with us the important uh, prevention myopia information. Such information should be fed, shared with the parents, and the parents should constantly remind children to protect their eyes. Parents can also set up good role models for protecting their own eyes. Prevention of myopia is actually a systemic and project which needs the involvement of the whole society. Myopia can be prevented, controlled, and also can go through the author keratology and other vision correction methods. However, once children are myopic, such myopia cannot be reversed. So we should let the parents know if you do love your children, want to protect their eyesight, you should first equip yourself with the proper and the healthy and scientific knowledge. With the joint efforts from schools, families, we can ensure a good atmosphere of mass prevention against myopia among children and youth. The last question for the day, please. Journalist from the second row on the left side. And students health news. And there has been rumor on the prevention of myopia. Some say and if uh, children wear glasses when they have uh, the myopia, they can become even more myopic. There were also institutions saying that they have uh, certain rehabilitation devices which can reverse myopia. Are these uh, myths? Uh, and uh, if uh, parents uh, take uh, children to have uh, their glasses, what should be the things they should pay attention to. I'd like to ask the director Wei Wenbin to take the last question. Thank you for your question. I believe uh, this question is of common concern among parents. The saying that uh, wearing glasses may worsen myopia does not have uh, scientific evidence. It may even delay the treatment of myopia. Myopia is not reversible. If uh, myopia is above 600 degrees, it may be the, a kind of pathology and can lead to blindness. We treat the myopia among children with the purpose of uh, preventing its uh, further degradation for children with myopia that is higher than 100 degrees. They should wear glasses. They should go to the hospitals to have a thorough eye check after the and the hilarious is completely relaxed. We can check whether it uh, is uh, the pseudo-myopia or the true myopia. If it is already a true myopia, it cannot be rehabilitated or recovered. The so-called device uh, training that can help uh, the improvement of the vision, it is uh, because the Hilaris was trained to improve uh, its functions. However, if it is true myopia, it uh, cannot be reversed uh, with the training of uh, Hilaris. There has been some uh, rumors online saying that the myopia children, myopic children after wearing glasses uh, have seen their myopia even deepened. It is not uh, because of the wearing of uh, glasses. Rather, children grow and their vision will evolve as their eyes grow. So this can naturally become more myopic. And the wearing of glasses can slow down the progression of the disease. We suggest uh, parents make arrangements uh, appointments with the schools stagger their visits to the hospitals when they go through ophthalmology checks. Thank you. Thank you, speakers. On today's press conference, we have uh, speakers talking about to protect eyesight and uh, prevent myopia. It is also hoped that the whole society can take actions, and in particular, the schools, the 
teachers and the parents can work together to care the eyesights of the kids so that they can have a bright future for tomorrow's press conference. We will have speakers or experts from the Beijing Municipal Health Commission and uh, the Beijing CDC to take questions about epidemic prevention and control. We welcome your questions and your participation. That's all for today. Thank you.